Good morning, I got to sleep in today because I don't have a class until about three. But I also have a test in that class that I still haven't started reviewing and or studying for, so I'm like, <laughs> Hey guys, today's vlog is as messy as I currently am. So, you know, grab a little um, acceptable snack, chow down, drink some water, and prepare to listen to a very, very chatty vlog. Okay, I hope you guys are ready. Enjoy, please don't click out of the video. It's almost 11. I need to shower. I also need to drink a lot of water today because I just feel like I haven't been drinking enough like at all recently, like very minimal water and that's the worst thing you could do. So I'm gonna make it my mission to like chug as much water as I can before class in these next few hours. Cause I feel like when I want to drink water the most is like right before bed and I can't chug a bunch of water before bed. I'm gonna be up all night. Can't wait to get clean and fresh. I just ate subjectively the grossest combination of things for breakfast, but for me, it's fine. Chocolate soy pudding. This stuff, I just, I couldn't believe that I found it. Cause even in the States, I feel like I never find soy pudding at like a regular grocery store. So I buy a lot of these just because I can. And then, <laughs> soy yogurt. And then <laughs> a little bag of potato chips. Such a gross combination for breakfast, but also isn't it kind of brunch? And even if that was lunch, is that appropriate? No. I don't know, I just have such a strange combination of foods in my room. I just never know what to eat for breakfast. What's your go-to breakfast? Mine is probably toast. Oh, I miss toast. We had so much toast in Barcelona because we had a toaster. Luxury. Um, yeah, I love toast. Toast is a great breakfast. Sourdough toast, man? What's better than that? Also, I'm watching Carly's vlogs, KD and kids. I am absolutely in love with this family. And I've been really, really fascinated by like the concept of family vlogs recently. I wanna like make a documentary on this. I know there have been documentaries about YouTubers and blah, 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 but I think it's really deeply fascinating. Like there are so many questions and things to consider or think about or just whatever when it comes to not only sharing your life like I'm sharing my life you know and that's you know strange and amazing and whatever in a lot of different ways vlogging in general is so interesting but family vlogging specifically you know what are the pros and cons what are the implications what are the effects of like sharing your family life, which is arguably one of the most personal things. You know, your parenting, having your parenting essentially under a microscope because you're sharing all of your choices and things with an audience. It's amazing, it's a lot of questions. But anyway, I absolutely love, shouts out Carly. I love Carly and I love the kids and I love Darian and they're just the sweetest family. <laughs> so you guys should definitely check him out. I'm in love. Kane just had his first birthday and I'm missing kids. I'm like crying. That's the weird thing about being in college for me because I'm used to either working with kids all the time because that was my job for three years through like high school and stuff or babysitting at some point. So if I'm not doing either of those and I'm not interacting with kids and or my favorite age group, toddlers, <laughs> if I'm not interacting with babies or toddlers, it makes me feel empty to some extent. So I feel empty, but I watch these videos and I'm just like, oh, I just want to hang out with Kane and Preston. They're so cute. So sweet. I love kids. But also, I'm still looking forward to camp. I kind of keep forgetting that that's happening. I'm going to be gone for like two months this summer working at a camp in New York, which is going to be amazing. But those kids aren't, aren't that young. They're like grown-up kids. There are no toddlers at this camp, unfortunately. All right, I got a shower. I have to go. Call you back later. All right, studying. I don't know how this works. To be honest, I, I very, very rarely do it. Today I'm studying Dom Juan for my French theater class. I just need to know everything, that's all. Where do I begin? <laughs> the thing is, like, every time I study, I'm like, oh, I need to do this more, I need, a better, I need to be a better student, I need to review my stuff on a daily basis. <laughs> um, but it's like, I've gotten through all of my life schooling without doing that and it's worked out pretty well so it's like why would i start now hmm why would i start now i keep wanting to like write my notes in english because that's how i'm like re-explaining things to myself but then on the test i'm gonna have to write in french so i have to like stay in french mode you know that's the most difficult part obviously of doing all these classes in french is like i would be easily killing it in english but that's not the point um and it's so frustrating to like have a really good idea but literally not be able to like voice it because my French is not strong enough. Definitely not at the level 
that I'm thinking in English. So I've been working for 10 minutes, so I needed a snack. I bought these little snack packs of Oreos, and there's 10 of these, but there's only two Oreos per pack. <laughs> I mean, I should have known. But it's like, how rude. Obviously, I'm gonna eat more than two Oreos. So now I have to bring like what? At least two packs? That defeats the purpose of a pack. It's supposed to be a good serving size, you know? But also, I shouldn't eat too many Oreos in general. It's sad, when I have a craving for cookies, Oreos are like the only thing I can have, and Oreos are not cookies. I mean, they are, but like not really. It's a completely different thing. Like when I want a cookie, I want those like grandma's cookies, like peanut butter. Oh my God, I would die for some of those right now. Let's go. Act one, scene one. C'est la passion des honnêtes gens en qui vit sans tabac n'est pas digne de vivre. Digne de vivre. Honest people who live without tobacco don't have the dignity of life. Is that what it's saying? I'm gonna remember that. Et la raison encore, dis-moi, je te prie, Scannerel, qui peut transpirer un peu dans si mauvais augur, quelque froideur qui les oblige à partir. Oh, I just wrote on my wall with pen. So, Don Juan didn't say it, he didn't tell Scannerel, mais Scannerel knows, he knows it. I love speaking franglais. Je pourrais peut-être me tromper, mais enfin, se détachuser, motherfuck. I just want to read French fluidly. <clears throat> How am I ever going to be a French theater actress? I can't pronounce these words. Je pourrais peut-être me tromper, mais enfin, se détache... Sir, de tel sujet... One more time. Je pourrais peut-être me tromper, mais enfin, ce de tel sujet, l'expérience m'a peut donner quelques lumières. Quelques... quelques lumières. But he's like, yo, but like I've seen it happen, so like Quoi? Ce départ si peu prévu serait une fidélité de Jean Juan Jam Juan? Nice. Guzman is choqué. Choqué. Everybody's shocked. It's like why be shocked? This is Dom Juan we're talking about. It's obvious. Eh, mon pauvre Guzman, mon ami, tu ne sais pas encore quoi moi quel homme est Dom Juan. Wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> I'm impressed with myself. Um, you don't know who Dom Juan is. That's good. That's a good quote. You don't know him like I do. I am his servant boy. I know him. You don't. Wow. Guzman's like, wow, I saw him do all this shit. He wrote the letters. He was so loving. How could he do this to my girl, Elvire? And Scannerel's just like, that's just him, dude. That's just him. He's a bad, bad bitch. All right, I'm gonna keep studying. Hi, it's now 12.42. I just grabbed some lentils and chickpeas. This is like my go-to meal. So much protein. And also the fact that I can just throw it in the damn microwave. And then toss on a little bit of Tabasco, a little bit of salt. Vegan. Yeah, I need a real meal. And I also need more water. I am in real need of a reusable water bottle. I've been wanting to buy a new one because I left all of mine at home. And I've been drinking so much less water because I don't want to buy plastic water bottles. And it's just a struggle. Also, like, water fountains, drinking fountains, they're, like, not a thing here. Or at least I haven't seen any, so I don't know. I'm scared to touch this because the bottom of this bowl is so hot. Okay, really, though. Tabasco. Hot sauce in general. Spicy things. Um, I used to, like, not really like spicy things. And it was, like, last semester in New Orleans. I kept having a lot of, like, crystal, crystal hot sauce on a lot of my food. And it's just so good, you know, obviously. And I'm glad that my tastes have changed a little bit and that I enjoy a little spice. Can you guys let me know what your favorite brand of hot sauce is and what you like to put it on? Because obviously like different hot sauces taste better on different things. It's so hard to focus on studying. I just feel icky right now. So that's a good excuse. Ugh. <laughs> I'm literally like, I've done like an hour of work. I've taken like half a page of notes. I'm over it. Um, but I really don't want to fuck up this test. But this is the first test of this class, so I don't know exactly what the format's gonna be or, you know. I've been paying a lot of attention in class, and that's usually why I don't usually need to study 
except for like a light review like right before something is because I'm pretty good at retaining information just by paying enough attention in class like it works for me I don't know everybody does school and tests differently but I'm usually a, a pretty solid test taker um, also the like French grade scale is really weird it goes from 0 to 20 and like a 16 is like an A so anything above a 16 is like unheard of almost like you'd have to be like really really good to get like a 17 18 19 20 almost like never happens so it's very strange so like a 12 13 is like good i don't know it's just weird um and my american brain is so trained into obsessing over grades and like every assignment that's the thing about the french uh or maybe just european education system compared to the american one um it's not clear to me all the time like when something is an assignment like four points <laughs> like that's such a common thing to hear and to say in america like is this graded is this four points uh, will this affect my grade, blah, blah, blah. And in the French system, as far as I've seen, it's a lot more laid back and a lot more casual in that the teacher's not gonna like mention it more than once. They're just gonna say, this is due whenever. So it's very strange to me because I'm like still so obsessed with grades and like kind of having a, a vague understanding of like where my grade is, but right now I have like no idea. Um, <laughs> so all I can do is like make sure I go to every class and pay attention, but Exams are starting to come up. I just kind of started my first tests like this week in each of my classes and then we'll do like final exams like mid-April. It's so soon, it's going by so fast and it makes me really sad. I don't even want to think about leaving France. But anyway, I've got to study. Stop distracting me. Hey guys, it is 2.14 now. I've got to head out to class soon. I'm not done studying, not done reviewing, but oh well. <laughs> Class starts in an hour. Oh, that's good. Extra 15 minutes, I forgot about. Yeah, this is the point where I go, oh, I've done my best, even though I've done very minimal work, very little effort. <laughs> we'll see, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Let's head out. I want to see it so we can put this out in front of the governor and say, you don't have to frack. Right. And lo and behold, my research team came back and they said, well, Josh, there is no renewable energy plant for the state of New York. I said, that's crazy. How could there not be one? You know, because we know, we've known for years that renewable energy, for example, the wind in just three states, North Dakota, Kansas, and Texas, just those three states could power everything in the United States of America. So, hey, what's up? Just your lights are just so bad. What does this remind you of? The video of the news anchor who was just like... <laughs> We're getting... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what's up? Um, here's Casey's bottle. <laughs> Empty! And, uh, respectably, here's mine. So, we're on the same level. Um, <laughs> no, okay, you know what I realized today? New concept, you don't have to drink so hard. But also Too my lights much. are fli fliffering, flickering. Um, I don't know, the pregame has so much pressure, and I've been talking about drinking a lot, and I want to say, I don't condone it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a joke, but no, really. Um, I just want to go out and have a good time with the girlies. So that's what we're gonna do without, tonight. Without getting too turnt, which is <sighs> you don't want to get too turnt. Do don't get too turnt. Go for a walk, drink water, eat bread. Have an 8 a.m. Have an 8 a.m. class and feel great tomorrow. Probably fucking not. Hungover? Yes. Oh yeah, Casey, you haven't been in a bed in a while. Well, no, you've been in the. You've been I, in skipped, the block. I skipped my 8 a.m. last week, so here goes. Oh my god. Amazing. Oh, shit. And I didn't even drink last week. I know, that's the best part. Oh my god, and I drank this week. Fuck my life. So, uh, I don't know if we're inspiring you to drink or not, but some of you in my last video said that you'd want to drink with me, and that made me so happy. Because I'm surprised after all of my obnoxious behaviors. <laughs> and the puking. Cheers to the puking. Puking. Yeah, fuck never again.
Wow guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the vlog. I'm actually really impressed because obviously this is a long one. I've got a couple comments to read. Thank you guys so much for the comments. Um, this channel is new, so, you know, make sure you give every vid a like. Make sure you um, subscribe and hit the bell to get my notifications. And I always love, love, love your comments. So here are a few of my faves from the last two vlogs. Oh my god, living for the drunk footage. Thank you. There's a lot more where that came from. Clearly. <laughs> As a guy who hates vlogs, I honestly don't know why I like these videos, but I do. They're awesome. Also, visit Stockholm if you get the opportunity. Thank you so much. The best thing I could do is make people who don't like vlogs like my vlogs, at least. So, I don't know why you do either. But thank you. Death keep up the drunk video trend. I will. No disappointment there. I'm digging your study abroad travel crew and this vlog was quality. Thank you. These vlogs in Barcelona are definitely your funniest vlogs and the best ones. Are there worse videos and pics of those nights? Um, possibly. Man, I want to be your friend. I want to be your friend too. Honestly. Hit me up, everybody. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Leave a comment. Bye.